Well, uh, tell me again your some of your, just a handful. Just say the same one. Okay, please. I don't. I don't have. I used to have lists and lists and pages and pages of stuff of favorite right. I'm scripture. Going back to the place that I came from. What? Sorry for saying that, but what the hell does that mean? Okay, what does that mean? And he asked me a question. Let me give you the answer. Return to where you have not left. There's going to be a the street church barbecue, whatever, not hot dogs or whatever, in front of the mission today. Okay. It is now 10 o'clock. I'm sitting in front of the computer here talking to you. But my mind should not be thinking, okay, what am I going to say when I get down there? How many hot dogs am I going to have? Should I drive or should I walk? <clears throat> should I take my camera or should I not take my camera? I wonder if somebody's going to need a favor down there. Uh, maybe some yeah, will no, need. I, I, I got it. That's got what it. Yeah. be. That's what return to where you have not left. I'm. I have not left my chair and my computer. So I am concentrating on the computer and where I'm oh, currently okay. sitting. I'm not thinking about. I give this example. Somebody's driving home from somewhere. They're a, a kilometer away from their house. As they get yep. closer to their house. They're thinking what they're going to do when they get home. Okay, I've got to make this for supper. I've got to do this on the email. I've got to do this. I've got to do that, etc. And right. I've got to call yeah. so-and-so. And that's when people have car accidents. They wipe the out. accidents. This is two miles from home. You're right. Because, they, because, because their brain, their mind, and their body are separating. When they're 10 miles from home, they're okay. When they're a mile from home, Part of their brain is already at home. When they're 500 feet from the door, three quarters of them is in the house already, and only one quarter of them is in the car. That's right. when you run into the post. That's I, when you I, back I, over I totally the. Ca get, I totally get what, okay. th what that thing. Say that saying one more time. For me. Return to where you have not left. Return to where you have not left. Yep, that's great. That now, after your explanation makes perfect sense to yeah. me. But before, it was like, you know, and... and, and Somebody and, else, you know, some other guru right? said, be here now, Ram Das right. said. And that's a better way of saying it. Yeah. But I guess, if you're telling people, you know, affirmations and stuff like that, um, do you explain what yes. it is? Yes. You know, just recite it, see if they get it, feel their energy right. if they get it. If they don't get it, if they say, oh, that's cool. Have some. I but sometimes that. I sense they'll say they'll say yeah that's cool but they don't know what I'm talking about and then I'll give them yeah, an example exactly exactly that's what I think I'm uh, probably a good percentage are just going oh, okay you know they're not really getting it but I, I love that you explained it to me give me another one what was another one of your affirmations the hardest one on this list on this short list is just be because someone will say someone will say just be what what am I supposed to be I said just be. Right. What am I supposed right. to be? Am I supposed to be rich? Am I supposed to be poor? Am I supposed to be abundant? Says, just be. You see how hard it is? You see how hard it is? Yeah. See how the mental noise kicks in? Right? Yeah. Always looking for another question. <laughs> Always looking for another dilemma. Where were you trained? Right? Your mama, your teacher, your religious person, your pastor at church always taught you that there's something wrong. And then they will give you, they will create the problem, they'll create the problem, and they'll, they'll give you an answer according to their denomination or whatever. This is. You just need, right? yeah. if that's what you need, fine. But don't tell me that I am a bad person, insufficient, and my problem, my life is a mess because I don't have these things that you have determined that I need. Thank you. I, I 100% concur with you.